Welcome back to another episode of Flatline Fowl. We're doing a little bit of late season goose hunting. Uh, these jokers found a decent spread yesterday. Uh, I was at work, but I guess there's around 250 geese or so here. Maybe a little more, a little less. There's tons migrating right now. Um, and it's five geese per person. We got four guys. Uh, we're looking forward to a good hunt. So uh, stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. So we're just finished setting up all the decoys here. We got about 20 dozen dive bombs between uh, alternates, uh, socks, and uh, the V2s. Is that right? Something, Something like that. Okay. And uh, the V2s. Um, we got it kind of set up like a glorified Nike swoosh, we're gonna call it. Just kidding. Uh, it looks similar to a J. Um, obviously realistic, not a straight perfect J, but um, the wind's kind of all over this morning. We've had it in our faces and at our backs, but predominantly it's coming, it's gonna be coming over our right shoulder. So the geese should be landing left to right, um, diagonally in our faces. Uh, we, like I said, we got around 250 geese saw yesterday and uh, uh, should be pretty good. Um, somehow we've been, we've been doing pretty good this season, like getting ready before shooting light. We got like 30 minutes still. Um, we're just starting to get some light peeking over the mountains and uh, it's gonna be a nice morning for filming too. Uh, thankfully the sun's gonna be toward back also, we don't have to worry about that in our faces. And uh, hopefully it's a good hunt. Shoot all of them. <laughs> 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 Door yeah, yeah, four of them. Joe, go get them. Four dog. That's a waning gibbous. <laughs> Jackass. Oh, that hit me right in the cheek. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many are there? Oh, they're right there. Um, She's a full size Canada or a baby Canada. Beat down on them. Oh, it's uh, walking around. Somebody shoot that. They're both cripples. That one's winged. You got him, yeah. Joe? Just wring its neck. It ain't going nowhere. Oh my god. They keep coming in packs like that. Why, why did he shoot it from five yards? That's tough. <laughs> 
That is a waste of a shell. <laughs> I've never seen one. I clapped this one. The last one's been getting a little far. How many came in? Five? Look at that joker. If they do it like that, well, they're doing it dirty. The home daddy right there. I can't feel my hands. Mm, yeah, it is freezing. It's probably, it's probably. Oh. What are you saying over there? What? I said, I've got a brother-in-law going on to somebody. But both times I pulled the trigger, something fell out of the sky. I tapped the one right in the middle. <laughs> this sucker, you want to talk about a white belly? It's a bloody oh, day. That's yeah, terrible. That's the recipe for frostbite right there. Lick the fingers. Jeez, it's probably <laughs> Oh my god, they're cuffed up. This one do Boom. Oh. We should have uh, waited. We have thought more. Right. I was getting that one. I thought they were going down. Give them some calls. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I shot that one. No one shot it. Somebody shot it. Wasn't me. Oh. Somebody didn't do a good job, is what they said. That, that was far. That was. This is going to be entertaining. Show it on. Get it on video, would you? Ooh! Ooh, yeah! Oh, no. oh. Okay guys, so we're just picking up. It's around 9.30. It's extremely cold. We saw a lot of geese, but you know, late season, they're pressured. They, they need everything to be perfect. And no clouds today, so the sun was going right across our blind. So every blind had a shadow. Wind changed about 18 times. Yeah, and the times. wind changed like probably every half hour. The wind was changing, so that didn't help. And they were already a little weary. They definitely wanted to be here, but it's just like, not everything was perfect. So I think we ended up with eight. All right, so we made it to the cooking portion of the video now. We got the goose all cleaned up. We uh, got some flour on it. Got the old propane cooking on the, the oil, heating her up good. Uh, looking to have some goose nuggets and some tenders, so stick it's with us. It's actually a few days later. It's actually a few days later. We soaked it in salt water for a couple days. Then we soaked it in buttermilk a couple days. Now we're frying it. That's key to get the multi, game out of multi, it. Multi-day uh, process. You gotta get the game gets out Gets the of blood it. out of it. Yeah, especially with the goose. Duck, you could probably get away with a little bit shorter. Well, if it's shot up, you should do the same thing. Yeah. It gets all the blood out. All wild out. games should be soaked. Yeah, it, gets the, it gets the blood out, and then the game taste goes away. But yeah. We're so. waiting for the oil to get hot, and then we're gonna start frying these puppies up. All right, so once we got the breast cleaned up, uh, I took them and I sliced them into probably an inch cube. We're trying to get some nuggets. And also, I, there's those tenderloins in between the breasts. And those are making the nice tendies. Don't waste these, because these are them delicious right there. So now they're going into the flour mixture. I put a little bit of baking powder in there. That makes them a little crispy. And we got some Slap Your Mama cayenne pepper in there. And I like to let them rest for like five minutes, because that's usually 
get the best results I've found out for. Get them nice and fully coated, mixed up. Let them rest and then we'll get them in the fryer. Is that a metal shaving right there in the middle of that? Is there? Lift them up to you so the freaking flour doesn't get in there. Oh, get it off to the side yeah. so you can get it in there. Makes sense. <laughs> Just tell them they're alligator nuggets, they won't go better. I had those once, they're freaking good. Seth's, uh, it's called uh, Seth's Seafood in Lake Fork, Texas. Dropping them in gently. Clean oil is the best oil. They're freaking three fries later and it's dark brown. It looks like. Yeah. Just let it sit there for a second. Yeah, yeah I think that's the whole point of that. It's like my phone. Okay, I think you get it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Don't make noises. Okay, noise. well, they're out. There they are. Nice, crispy, golden brown. A little, uh, little Chick fil A sauce here on the side. So you can't taste the actual goose. Oh, I already tasted the goose. Mm, cheers to the camera. First batch out, and they tasted really good. They weren't gamey at all. They were a little bland. So we're putting some extra Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning on there because this is always good. I don't know. I don't know if everybody likes this. I like it. They like it because we like spicy stuff. But you know, if you don't like that, put salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, you'd be fine. But yeah, and we're gonna put the whole recipe in the description with the directions so nobody gets angry at us. How's that taste? Mm, but it looks good. So we'll see you next yeah, time. This batch came out a little medium rare. Jeez, can you see it? Yeah. Oh, much more tender than the last batch. Holy crap. We're about to put the tenders in the fryer, and that's uh, should be the last batch. Oh, we just finished eating all the, or we're working on them. Almost done, but we got some stuff to do today, so we're gonna get to that. But like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Boom, pow.